uh, I don't go around telling people who I am or anything. They know who I am. I'm a lawyer named George Leach. But several people know the other part of my life. Well, my day job is as a primarily a criminal attorney, criminal defense attorney. And my night job, but it's not really a job, is this one, which is painting as an artist and, I own, and as this gallery, as a gallery owner, too. Um, sometimes I end up representing uh, accused persons of rape or murder or, um, and juveniles, even. And so I, I represent some juveniles charged with um, very serious crimes as well. And some just charged with not going to school. And as a lawyer practicing in that area, I was very familiar with um, a lot of things that go on there and the pains and the, what people go through, through the process of being involved in a juvenile justice system or, or domestic relations court. I'm, I'm honored to be on many of the courthouse walls. In, in the common pleas court, my pieces hang, and the um, domestic relations and juvenile courts. Many don't even know it. I was, yesterday I was at a, in, at a hearing and one of the attorneys mentioned one of my pieces in the courtroom and another lawyer said, oh, I know that guy. He's, he's a different George Leach and he's a short guy with gray hair. <laughs> and I'm standing next to the person and it's just because I'm there in a suit and nobody would think that you're the guy that's painting these paintings that, that are around that show powerful moments or places in time. I, I love it. It's passionate and it reflects children, at least the pieces in my courtroom reflect children in somewhat of their natural state. This piece over here um, with the little boy holding the plea sign in particular, I think it reflects a, a plea for kindness and for patience and for justice and those are all things that people come to this court to obtain. And I think that looking out at my bench and being able to see that, it reminds me of those things. This is an awesome piece of work that was uh, done, uh, obviously, with some great thought about the truth of human trafficking. Uh, we have a special court for human trafficking victims uh, called Catch Court. How I use it is uh, once a, a woman gets to a certain point where she starts to realize what happens to her, uh, what had happened to her and how vulnerable our women and girls are in Columbus. Uh, we can use this painting to actually describe the various phases that she's been through in her life. From when she was a young girl to when her innocence was lost. Um, the painter, uh, Mr. Leach, used the, these red scarves to indicate blood. Um, but yet she still has, uh, she's holding up her hopes and dreams. of, uh, And that's what the butterfly uh, represents is that hope of uh, you know a better life um, and healing and then a freedom from uh, obvious slavery. You know in law you have to be creative too. You're, you're creative if you're, if you're a trial attorney and you're listening you have to respond the moment you hear it and you know and like art you're creative and you're trying to generate uh, these colors to transfer onto this. In front of a jury, you're listening to everything that's said, and then you're going back at the person who just said it, if you're cross-examining them, and bouncing back what they just told you, but with your angle and your, your question to fit what you think the jury needs to know. And so you have to be as, cre as creative in law as you do in art. Um, and it, sometimes it ends up being kind of artistic and, you know, some lawyers are pretty animated in court as well. And so that's, a, that's acting. It's a form of art. I mean, they're, they're conveying to the jury, you know, their emotions and their power, their enthusiasm for the truth here or, the, or their client's version of it. And, um, and I think that comes across in trials if, when you do them. And it wins cases sometimes.